have a new friend. Thanks, Best Buy. All right, hello. Do you believe in the future? I know I do. I also like to put my money into the future on occasion. Took a trip down to a local Best Buy, picked up the new Ray-Ban Wayfarers, which are the new AI-powered glasses from Meta. They run on a llama. And if Winamp taught me anything, it's that llamas kick ass. I definitely got that quote wrong. Do you believe in tiny TVs? I do. But we're not there yet. We don't have teeny tiny TVs. We do have Doom playing on a microwave and a pregnancy stick. But today, different kind of tiny TV for you. And yes, that's Hatcam. And so what we're going to do is we are going to unbox the Ray-Ban Meta Wayfarer sunglasses. Here in Zim's little studio pudio. Here we go. The Meta Ray-Ban sunglasses. Now we went for the Wayfarers, which are the more square frame. And they have a profile that looks a lot like a kind of a standard sunglass. I don't need any tools to get into the box. They just have this here. Is there anything else on here? It says, uh, warning cancer and reproductive harm. The P65 warning from, from California. Uh, this one says, a camera open your audio and pairs with the Meta View app to edit and share your content for ages 13 and up. And voice command is there. Glasses, charging case, and cleaning cloth. Nice little tidy box. I always appreciate these things. So here we go. I've never owned smart glasses before. I've had a smartwatch before. I gave up on it and I actually sold it off. I had an Apple smartwatch at one point. Listen, call, live stream. That's a kind of nice little unveil right there. This is going to be a pretty quick unboxing. Listen, call, live stream. Again, the kind of recycled packaging is distinct. It's its own thing. You got the flaps that fold down. I feel like I'm unboxing some kind of tech. You know, it's like... Steam coming out. Doors dropping down. And then something coming out this way. I've not seen this before, so... Oh, nice. The case is presented right there. This is one thing that Meta is really doing well, is the presentation during the unbox. Is like, is great. Okay, so this thing is supposed to have a charging case, which I guess is this. Uh, that's the Meta View app. So we're going to need to grab our phone. I suppose there's a cloth there, some instructions there, and then this little, uh, this little case. So a nice little brown case. Very Ray-Ban. Mm -hmm. USB-C port at the bottom. And yeah, largely that's... Oh, it glows. That's pretty cool. Okay. Opening them up. Let's see how big these things are. Straight out of the back, uh, straight out of the box, they do look a little large. We went for the large. 141 across? Okay, those look like pretty standard size glasses. We'll see if they're absolutely huge. Uh, so there's the charging pins inside the case. And this is Ray-Ban Meta. There's, this is leather of some kind. Looks like there was a sticker there that got removed. Interesting. Um, but that's a nice... Nice case. Um, it, I like how it faintly glows. That's like a perfect glow. Just enough so that it's like, wow, it's a piece of technology, you know? Enough to kind of let you know that you're into something cool. All right, so that's that. Um, let's go ahead and let's look at what's in the case before we look at the glasses themselves. They're light. They are just the same as a pair of glasses. Uh, which is surprising. That says get started. What else have we got? Safety <laughs> warranty. Oh boy, there's a lot there. All right, well, maybe we won't go through that right now. Safety and warranty card to the side there. Get started. Call Mans. Initialize. Download Meta View app. Let me kind of fold this so that we can all see it. Pull tab. Charging. By USB-C. Battery level. Indicator to battery. So if it's green, it's good. If it's amber, it's somewhere around half. Okay. Clearly, clearly. Power switch. Look at these things. Go ahead and unfold them. Mm-hmm. Got little protecting arm sides. That is just a glossy black. Can you see through them? No, not really. Um, they do just look like a pair of sunglasses, which is kind of crazy. Uh, okay. And then... And I say Ray-Ban on the sides. It's interesting. They really do just look like a 
pair of Ray-Bans. There's a little RV right there. Hard to kind of, hard to see, but you can, you can kind of check it out. And then Ray-Ban on the top side, you've got, they really, you really would be, it'd be hard to tell that they were anything but a pair of normal sunglasses. I mean, you see the two little cameras, but it's smart that they have them on the left and right to kind of cross balance and throw, throw people off. Um, the lenses themselves are supposed to be green. I'm going to go ahead and put them on. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're super comfortable to wear. Okay. I'm now seeing what you're, what you're seeing. <laughs> Through the lenses of me. It's interesting though, that little RB there, I wasn't expecting that. Is that a polish? Is that coming off? I don't know. Uh, they look nice. They have operating switch here. They have side swipe touches. I don't know what these are for. There's meant to be audio that comes out of these, but can't tell from where. Oh, those are speaker grills. Oh, the speaker grills on top and bottom. Oh my lord. That is teeny tiny. That is so tiny. That's just this little strip here. Um, and then put them down. All right, let's look at what else is here. So that's what? Your smart glasses with prescription lenses. Scan for a list of participating locations. Yeah, I, I don't. We want to keep these nice and vanilla. For an FAQ, they've got this. They've got speakers, mod modification, LED. Oh, so there's an LED inside the frame right here. Can't, can't really see it. Okay, and then let's look at bit of that stuff. Let's go ahead and look at what else. What else is in here? The cloth. Nice experience. I gotta say, this like packaging format is cool. All right, I think that's it. Now the MetaView app I'm gonna have to go and get, which I'll do in just a minute. And for the moment, here they are. Now, if they're speaking to me in my ears, you may not hear them. Um, so I'm going to have to go and do something a little bit fun. I'm gonna go, oh, there's a little meta on the frame. You see that there? That's a nice little meta frame. Made in China, they say. It's on the side. And then I guess that's like a power switch or something. What is that? What is that button? That button is a power switch. Okay, so if I switch them that way, that turns them on. That way it turns them off. Okay. Those are feckin' sleek, man. They are cool. Because they're just really simple. That's nice. Alright, let's give them a little polish. Because they're our new little puppy. And we didn't... This cloth feels weird, though. It feels like satin. I remember when a polishing cloth came with a CV-1 and it, like, fecked people's lenses up. And they're like, oh, shite. We sent a polishing cloth that damages lenses. So I would hope that they would have uh, learned... <laughs> Learn that lesson. Nice looking specs. Fits cleanly against the head. Uh, didn't feel like it would give me a headache or anything. We're gonna try them out in just a minute. Cool. All right, I wanna see what, ha what happens when I pop them back in the case. So that's the charge level on the case, I suppose, because there's like a, there's a battery bank essentially in there. And you just fold them up and you duck them into the case like that. And close it. And see it says orange. So it's like, hey, your cameras, your uh, cameras, your, your sunglasses need a bit of charge. And so I guess I would plug that into a USB-C if that's what we wanted to do. That's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do so that you can hear what I hear is this has a microphone, little microphone there. And so I am going to put this on the bar of the sunglasses so that it's picking up any audio through here and mixing it with what I'm saying. Let's go to the store now so that we're able to pick up MetaView Meta Platforms Inc. Okay, go ahead. Install that. All right, not very big, like 60 meg. No problem. We are ready to go with this. What about your phone? Your phone model is unsupported. Oh, what? <laughs> which may limit glasses and MetaView features. Oh my god. Okay, that's bad. See supported phones. Google Pixel, Samsung. Oh, jeez. Okay, so my phone is unsupported. Well, that's... That's gonna suck. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, well, let's see what features we've got. Okay. 
get started. It said it was going to limit features. It didn't say it was going to completely kill. So we'll we'll see if anything happens. Now it says uh, continue with an email address. Uh, terms and privacy. Continue. Let's get started. Nice little video. Showing the frames and everything. Okay, continue. Uh, Meta uses nearby devices to do things such as connect and set up your glasses, play music, choose to use hands-free features. Yep. Uh, so we have select the device, Ray-Ban Meta, Ray-Ban Stories. So Ray-Ban Meta, this one. Remove the tab to set up your glasses properly. Leave the glasses inside the case so they can power on and charge. Tap done once you've completed the steps. Make sure they're turned on and placed inside the case. When setting up for the first time, the glasses should automatically appear in the app. This could take up to a minute. Press and hold to begin pairing. Make sure that your glasses are charged, turned on, and placed in the case. Press and hold the button located on the back of the case for five seconds. Release when the case LED blinks blue. There we go. Tap done once you've completed. There we go. Ray-Ban Meta 00DF. It's pretty cool. Choose a device. Connecting via Bluetooth. It's still pinging blue. There. Giving Meta access to my contacts. Don't call my mom, Meta. Don't you do it. Okay, it's activating. There's got a little rocket ship. I'm checking for updates. Capture life's best moments. Keep the app open and your glasses close by until the update is complete. Catching the perfect wave. <laughs> That's cute. That's really cute. Shot. Alright, multitasking at its finest. Yep. Yay. Fetch, play, repeat. And they're stabilized. Um, they are stabilized, so it's not like it's... Uh, really shoddy video or anything. Uh, find us at the beach all summer long. Keep the app open and go to the beach with someone else's girlfriend. Ah, uh, yeah. She does not look like my type. Not at all. Um, whoa, what the heck is that? Right. Two minutes left. Sorry, lady. <sighs> Life's a party, especially with a pinata. I'd love it if the kid just went wild and started beating the grandparents. Man, that would be amazing. This part here, like... Oh, that would be so fantastic. What? Why is she so happy already? Man, I need to get my kids a piñata. Piñatas are great. Especially when they start wailing on the crowd. Dance the night away? Oh, yeah? Take a look. Why would you have sunglasses on in the club? Trying to look cool? Impress the ladies? Bump into people? Oh, yeah. This is so dodgy. Like, you could just show people who you met that night and stuff. Starting the day with a stunning sunrise. Oh, look. Pop out. Wow, look, it's the sun. I've never seen that before. Jesus, Jimity Bob. You ever seen that? That's the sun. That's the sun. Would you believe it? This is like after night after a threesome, is it? Is that what this is? <laughs> and is that where we're ending? The surprised face of this lady and her tangly-haired boyfriend? I don't know. What kind of drug? The California drug. Uh, right, so that's fine. Yep. I think we're, um, I think we're good there. How do I intend to use these? I don't even know. They just look such an interesting thing. Like, after having gone through the Halloween bit, just capturing little bits of life is really how I want to use them. Um, just because they're a really interesting recording. It's like when you got a mobile phone, and they had, a, they had cameras, and you could bring them everywhere and record stuff. This is even, like, one step further, right? So that's why, you know, in comparison, when I, when I did that with the Quest 3, we were like, it was pretty, it was pretty impressive. So... I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna, I hope, hope this will work out. This will work out well. So, restarting glasses? That's so funny. <laughs> restarting glasses! That's hilarious. Rebooting glasses. Congratulations. Let's go. Put them on. That's the plan. Go. There we go. 
Press the capture button once. LED blinks to show others that you're capturing. I'm curious about the look and feel of this thing. So let's like pull up the camera and let's look at ourselves. Hey, all right. Now you can see how I'm recording. Well, kind of, only when I'm looking straight at you, I suppose. That's my hat cam. Um, all right, well with that, we've got the MetaView app. I'm gonna tour around with these and see if they're any good. Initial impressions are pretty positive. Um, they are pretty neat in terms of what they can do. I can walk around and uh, do stuff. I'm gonna play with them and see how it works. Pretty good. All right, well that was the uh, Meta glasses. That's how they look. Um, I'll have to ask her what she thinks. Obviously the, um, the actual look and feel is pretty cool. Hey Meta, take a picture. All right, I'll take a video. So when they're on, then it's just that little LED. And then you know that, I mean, it, it's pretty, it's pretty slender. Like you wouldn't, if, you, if someone was moving their head around and I can just run over that way and come back. Here, let me do that. I'm gonna run over this way. <sighs> Hi. Are you, uh, okay. how does that look in real life? Okay, looks similar. Bye. Let's see if we can get back down before the minute is up. I think it's a minute. And we're back. And it hasn't finished yet. That's pretty cool. All right. So there you go, that's uh, the Ray-Ban Meta Glasses. They're pretty neat. That was hilarious. <laughs> um, that, was, that was pretty funny. All right, I'm gonna test drive them, let you know what I think. Well, to round us out, maybe just a few quick notes. Um, these are pretty cool frames and having done, I don't know, a couple hours of testing with them, uh, the, the first thing that stands out to me is that you can take a call on them or send a hands-free message with no ear gadgets. Like, you can look just like this, but be on a call. And the mic quality is decent. The person on the other side can hear you just fine. The speakers in the frames are absolutely tiny. They are, they look like these little gray patches on the bottom and the top of the frame. You can almost not see them at all, uh, with a surprising sound for that size. The bad, I would say, is that these lenses are not Polaroid filters. Um, they aren't polarizing. They aren't going to cut the light. And also, when you tilt your head, I suppose, if you're using a computer screen, you don't get that funny pattern, that cut out of the light. I tend to like Polaroid um, glasses, so that is a bit of a, hmm, strange. There must have been a reason why. Uh, the other thing that I found when I was pulling the glasses off of my ears, like this, just there, uh, just this part here on the sides is just a little bit sharp. Now that'll probably go away with, uh, with time and maybe with use, but just taking them out of the factory or whatever, um, it's just a slightly rough plastic, kind of like a cheap, uh, pair of sunglasses, which is unfortunate actually. And, um, as I said, you don't want to hurt your ears, especially that top part of your ear. It's really sensitive. Um, so I don't want to be slicing up there. And then finally, the thing that we learned when I was dealing with, um, did I actually slice my ear? I might have already. Feels like, feels like I might have done that already. Did not feel comfortable back there. Yeah, I think I did. At least the layer of skin, yeah, on this ear. Yowie. Uh, after that then, we've got, these apparently don't work with my OnePlus phone. I have a OnePlus 7T Pro, uh, but it seems to work. Music works, call works, SMS function works. Uh, when I ask Meta to go ahead and, you know, take a photo, it works. Doing video doesn't, but I don't know if that's just a specific limitation, so you can't just verbalize the video. Let me try the battery. Hey Meta, how much battery is left in the... Battery's 100%. Battery's 100% apparently, so... It's all good. 
anyway, my my initial verdict is uh, it's a quality product. Uh, the case, the uh, charging mechanism, uh, there's pros and cons to it, but I'm going to be playing with it for an another couple of weeks and see how we get on. Uh, but so far, uh, I'm glad that Meta are advancing this technology. This is pretty damn rad. Uh, they don't look out of place. I quite like the way they look on my face. So does my wife. Um, and same thing and vice versa. I think it looks good on her. Uh, more feminine features as well. Like slightly larger frames than maybe what I would be used to. I'm used to more of an Oakley's style, like wrap into the head. Um, but yeah, they look nice. They work well. Um, haven't had any real glitches so far. So um, all the only, the only problem that I suppose I had was uh, just converting the video format so that I could present it back in the video. It was a little couple of steps, but um, aside from that, it's all good. Are you going to check him out? Are you interested in these? Are you worried that Meta is listening on every conversation? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. And we'll see you on the next live stream. Zim out. Winamp. Winamp. It really whips the llama's ass.